recently scholars have defined religion as a way of life in 1998 scottish scholar ninian smart defined religion as a human activity with seven dimensions these include rituals worship narratives philosophical ideas ethics buildings and artifacts and emotional experiences spirituality is a process and a concept that involves searching for oneself finding the meaning of life and attempting to connect with the larger self the dalai lama said happiness is not something ready made it comes from your own actions emmanuel kant said happiness is not an ideal of reason but of imagination no is happiness a matter of intensity but a balance between harmony in life rhythm and inner peace scientists have defined psychological well-being as a situation in which you can reach your full potential in which you develop good relationships and in which you are competent enough to cope with your environment so let's look at whether religion and spiritual practices help us increase our well-being and sense of happiness welcome to another video religion and spirituality have been a part of human life since prehistoric times depending on the religion people engage in practices such as meditation prayer service to god devotional reading and chanting mantras or religious songs there are also religious practices that include festivals and community activities individual families have daily or regular worshiping practices and prayer meetings regardless of their particular religion some people practice zen and yoga kenneth pagamant an american psychologist along with some other researchers has been trying to find out about religion and health and has made some observations these scientists have found that religious practices can play a protective role in your life this becomes even more apparent in times of stress people believe that they are protected by god in times of stress and that the effects of stressful events in their lives can be minimized if they ask god in prayer to implement a divine plan another way religious practices protect people in stressful situations is through participation in group religious activities such as worship or services participation in religious practices supports positive beliefs about oneself and others this can lead to a positive hopeful view of life researchers have found that beliefs about life after death which are addressed in certain religious practices give people positive feelings especially during times of illness prayers and devotional readings along with singing religious songs have been shown to be effective in increasing immunity during illness people believe that religious practices help them achieve their goals they go to religious places and shrines which are said to help people succeed even in the modern world the practice of going on pilgrimage before important life event to pray for success has been around since historical times another important custom is to offer things to god in gratitude and celebrate after a success in their ventures it is important to keep in mind that most of us perform these or similar practices because they make us feel positive and increase our well-being even if there are negative effects we prefer to ignore them but we must remember that these religious practices can be exhausting and involve community for people who do not have time or resources for community religious activities this can lead to discomfort and negative experiences such as criticism and withdrawal of community support in addition people could sometimes face conflict and threats for not participating 
in community religious practices. Researchers have also found that regular religious practices, rituals, and a spiritual lifestyle improve our physical health. Meditation and similar practices increase immunity because they increase the number of antibodies in our bloodstream. They also increase the levels of hormones such as serotonin, which leads to a sense of contentment and well-being. They increase the activity of the prefrontal cortex of the brain and improve the higher functions of the brain. It has also been found that people who practice spirituality can more easily deal with pollutants and oxidants in their tissues, have low blood cholesterol and sugar levels, and are less prone to chronic diseases. Researchers have found that the pursuit of money, possessions, and recognition can lead to anxiety and stress. Practices like Zen and yoga not only help improve health, but also overall well-being by promoting minimalist ideas, compassion, and gratitude. For us to feel positive about ourselves and life, we must achieve our goals. Religious practices and spirituality pave the way for us to get there by helping us gain a sense of control, meaning, and acceptance. Religious practices also help people achieve their goals and meet the demands of their circumstances while following relevant moral and ethical principles. Spirituality helps us to achieve personal growth. Religious practices help us improve community relationships and personal experiences. Researchers have found that people who regularly engage in religious practices and those who are spiritual are more likely to practice gratitude, empathy, hope and forgiveness. Because of these qualities, they live in a constant state of psychological well-being. These characteristics help us to improve our emotional intelligence. All of this contributes to our journey in life being filled with contentment. In addition, I would like to mention that people who have had transcendental experiences describe feeling a great sense of happiness during their experience. Please subscribe to our channel, share and like this video. This will help us a lot to make more videos. Let me know if religious practices make you happy. Growing up, there were many religious practices in my family. Regular worshipping was a part of community, school and family culture. Growing up, I didn't find happiness in them. They were simply a habit. But as I grew up, I began to feel a sense of security and well-being in religious practices. They helped me to cope with anticipatory anxiety and stressful situations. I hope that one day I will be able to live a spiritual life. Thank you so much for watching.